London is getting a big dose of girl power with a new musical featuring the songs of the Spice Girls. We are here on opening night to get the scoop on Viva Forever. Tonight. It's amazing, yeah. I mean, we were absolutely blessed with an incredible response from the audience. And it was a really exciting night for the West End and for London. And Spice Girls came on stage at the end of the show and were incredibly gracious and generous to the, about the cast, about the production. Before your debut, you got to share the stage with the Spice Girls. With the Spice Girls, I know. As as a kid, I don't. I used to actually dream or wish, you know, oh my god, I wish, I wish, you know, one day, oh god, I hope. And now, actually, that's happening in real life. It's, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So it's the end of a great, a great year for England, for Britain, with the Olympics. And we've done really well this year. We haven't always done well, but we've done a lot of fantastic things in this country. And this is just another part of the party, isn't it? So much hard work has gone into it, so I really hope it's paid off. It's been fantastic. The best buzz of my life, definitely. <laughs> what was it like having the Spice Girls in the audience? Astounding. I didn't know where they were. I was convinced they were sitting up in the Royal Circle, so I was looking up there, thinking, where's David? Where's David? At one point, I, I, I caught a glimpse of David Beckham. I thought, I must concentrate on my lines. I must not think that he's in the audience. I did something I've never done before, which was I peeked through the curtain to look out into the auditorium, where everyone else was doing it, so I thought, well, I must well do it. It's their name with, with this show. You know, we wouldn't be doing what we were doing if they hadn't have done what they'd done. So really, it was just an amazing opportunity for us to, you know, to thank them. What was going through your mind tonight when you were sharing the stage with the Spice Girls? Oh my God, are they real? Can I pinch them? It really brought a tear to my eye. I, I, I was very touched by that. And yeah, I was very proud to wear that Union Jack dress. If you were to have a Spice Girls name, what would your name be? Uh, hairy Spice, usually. Thong Spice? Old Spice. And Viva Spice. Funky Spice? Fearsome Spice. Edgy Spice. Milf Spice. <laughs> We want to pass it on to, you know, the, the younger generation, yeah, keep the it going. Generation. I feel like it's so exciting for us to have the legacy that it's for a new generation yeah. we can enjoy it for years and yeah. years to come, fingers crossed. What an accolade that we're our music yes. is now on stage, incredible. Girl power lives on, woohoo! What excited you about doing a Spice Girls musical? Uh, just the fact that I love the Spice Girls so much and I just I just thought there's so much in their music and just the, the feeling of excitement and exhilaration they gave to girls and the feeling of confidence. I just wanted to to do something that sort of reflected that really. I think it's a great bit of writing. Um, Jennifer Saunders has written a, a really moving, clever, um, funny um, um, play stroke musical. I do get to say, let me show you my vajazzle, which I always think is, is a killer line. It's brilliant. It's Jennifer Saunders, but you know, she's absolutely amazing. I'm so chuffed to be working with her. If you're a Spice Girls fan, you're going to love the tunes, obviously. Um, but it's a great, great tight comedy script from Jennifer. Um, and hopefully, as Judy says, I think you go out feeling a little bit happier at the end of the day. What do you think this show will give to young people who are going to come and see it? I really hope it gives them this infectious belief that you can be who you want to be. It's got an essence of the Spice Girls and girl power and what they stood for and being true to yourself and not getting caught up in the fame world. It is an optimistic show, it's life affirming, it's, it's meant to be a bit of fun and it's kind of, you know, for the family and gives confidence to everybody I think. When you come out the stage door at night you, you see g young girls walking down the street holding put their arms around each other singing the songs and there's a such a confidence that comes with that. It's just sheer joy. It's so heartwarming. It, singing those songs I just feel happy.